Hey everyone, it's Sunday, January 12th. Driving out to Scenic Beach State Park here in Washington State on the Kitsap Peninsula. Wanted to get in a night of camping real quick because I knew I could. It's nice, clear skies right now, closing in on sunset, but all that's about to change. We're supposed to have a uh, cold front move in and snow starting later tonight, uh, possibly in the morning. So I'm trying to get there and get camp set up even though it's late and excited about it. Get things dialed in with the hammock. Looking forward to it. Found a good campsite. Usually don't like car camping at all. I don't like uh, public campgrounds just because people lack much uh, self-awareness anymore. But this time of year it's perfect because no one is out. I think there's one other person in the entire park that's going to be camping tonight. And they're pretty far away from here and these spots are very, uh, very densely wooded. So I'm going to have a place to myself. Anyway, I'm going to get things set up for the sunsets and uh, run a little time lapse and maybe go grab some firewood. camp all set up got a fire going staying nice and warm it's about 35 degrees right now i think it's only get down to about i don't know maybe 32 or 30 tonight not too bad there was originally supposed to be snow in the forecast but i think that's been pushed back thankfully but uh probably still get rained on it is the northwest but uh looking forward to exciting dinner once the coals get formed on this fire i'll be making some uh, fried potatoes some little smokies and some baked beans looking forward to that so here's the ingredients for tonight's dinner, but more importantly, I picked up a growler of uh, Sun Glitter IPA from Silver City Brewing, Bremerton. Good stuff. So earlier in the video I was talking about how I don't like uh, car camping at public campsites, like state parks and whatnot, because people lack self-awareness. Well, this entire park is empty, except for me, and then I think there's an RV like way at the other side of the park. <clears throat> And then there's one car that just pulled up, oh, about 15 minutes ago, at the campsite right next to mine, and has been idling their car the entire time since. I do not understand. Dinner is just about ready. Those potatoes. Nice. So the car I was talking about. <clears throat> Yeah, they sat there idling for a good 50 minutes easily. Got super, super annoyed. <laughs> and literally the only other people in the state park that are camping are in an RV and they're at the other end of the park. Can't see or hear them. It's perfect. The sky's clear, the stars are out. The stupid car was idling for a good 50 minutes just sitting there. <clears throat> and they were younger, I guess probably early 20s. They got out. I thought they were scoping out campsites, but I don't know what they were up to. They get rid of the car, they sit there, like I said, 15 minutes. At this point, I'm like, I'm just going to go see if they need help. What's going on? Like, why are you sitting there with your car running right next to my campsite when there's other campsites you could be in, whatever you're doing? I think they're probably uh, enjoying each other. I'm not sure what they're doing. But either way, I wanted to find out what's up. At least see if I can get them to run off their car, maybe move to another site. So I walk very briskly up to their car with my headlamp turned up full. And before I could get there, they jetted off. So now the uh, campgrounds are nice and quiet. Just me, the stars, some uh, beans and smokies and some nearly burned potatoes, how I like them. All's well. About to enjoy some dinner. Some more beer. So after that car left, I was finally able to finish dinner. So good. Fried potatoes were perfect, slightly burned, how I like it. Uh, the baked beans, the little smokies, mm, so good. It's supposed to rain and snow tonight. It still might rain, but nothing so far. It's been a nice clear night, even though it's densely wooded. You can still see up through the tree canopy and see the stars. You can see uh, the Milky Way a little bit. Such a beautiful night. It's cold. I'm guessing it's probably about 31 by this point. Um, I bet it'll rain at some point during the night, but I don't think the snow is actually going to happen. It's about 9.30, 9.40 now, and uh, I'm obviously curled up in the hammock, ready for a nice night. 
Uh, my last couple trips out, we're using my old Marmot Mummy bag, which the, for the last several years, for some reason, I thought was a 20 degree bag, but it was only a 30 degree bag, which explains why my feet have been cold the last couple trips out. But I just got this new uh, Hammock Gear 20 degree um, Burrow Econ. So I'm really excited to see how it performs. Hopefully, my feet stay nice and warm. I bet they will. Uh, I really like an underquilt I got from them. But, uh, we'll sleep through the night and see how it goes. It slept great last night. I guess it started raining at some point and then turned to snow. About to finally climb out of the hammock and start packing up. <laughs> 